Day two of the Aramco Team Series London coming from the Centurion Club just outside of the capital city of England. Some windy conditions, scoring not that easy. Lynn Grant, the woman of the moment after a win at the Scandinavia Mix last week, chipping in there for Eagle that took her to two under par. She's on the fringes as far as the race for the individual titles concerned. That's through three rounds. The team of it is through 36 holes. One of the players in the top 50 of the world that are in the field this week is Pia Babnik. Now, this is a way to finish. Eagle there at 18 in a round of 68 to take her to four under par. She won the individual in the Aramco Team Series Jeddah last season. Bronte Law comes here off the back of finishing top 10 at the US Women's Open. A lovely birdie here at the eighth hole, taking her into contention in a second day's 71. Georgia Hall just couldn't make the putts on day two. Six under par, yesterday left her second on the leaderboard, but she's right in the mix. She won the Aramco Saudi Ladies International at the start of the year. She'll have a chance in the final round of the individual on Sunday to win again. She's from Bournemouth, as is the leader, Hayley Davis, 69 on day one. And it was a 68 on day two, two putting the last to get to nine under par. In the team side of things, well, Team Pelith made a little charge of things, helped by the left-hander India Diksha Dagger. How about this tee shot at 17? Almost close to an ace. We have had two holding ones this week already. 23 under par, left them in fifth place. Caroline Headwall's team looked like they might have a chance of winning, but Headwall missing this opportunity at the last left them at 27 under par. It's Team Vickstrom who are leading the way, but Team Garcia are the big danger to their title chances, closing in on that 27 under par mark. In the individual, Hayley Davis with a good lead as she looks for her Ladies European Tour breakthrough. 